people of the tube web welcome back to the rebel tech channel okay guys we're in a secluded location as usual we're not gonna tell you the location except for our past video mm -hmm. that we did uh, thank you for watching our videos we released three videos of the same location disassembling two IMAX yep uh, of course watch our other videos that we have uploaded and this time we're gonna do something very different as well we're gonna be servicing desktops PC right a lot of people probably be asking are ah, these two guys are ah, just Max Apple fanboys no we're hypocrites okay we use Windows desktop daily all right I use uh, Windows to do my video edits like we mentioned before in our previous video we are universal you know we can use Linux we can use Windows we can use Mac OS Android except for Chrome OS I have no idea about Chrome OS right we're gonna do one Chrome OS video in the future soon so this is like a, a hill okay it's not yeah. a mountain it's a hill if yeah. you were to uh, slip and fall you will end up all the way down the ditch and then if he sleep I'll probably pick him up tomorrow morning yeah that's what he mentioned because to me. I'm not I'm not bothered to even you know go down it no no no, no. It just rain I think earlier today uh, we don't advise anyone or recommend anyone to do this at all because no one will do this well uh, we also have see the positive things yeah if you do outside maybe you can relieve your stress yeah. while doing service your own desktop yeah. or PC or anything as long outside. you have the right tools true right tools not necessarily to, you have to be at home so we want to guide you and show you and share you the knowledge of all this so you can do it on your own instead of sending it to a shop it's very hard to get a shop that you can trust true so of course uh, hopefully it doesn't rain again bro hopefully yeah finger crossed hopefully there's nothing coming out from the back any any spooky are you afraid i'm not afraid I'm, we're Once fine we've been trying are you afraid bro no we're, we're fine we've been doing this we could do this our first video we did was at the cemetery the cemetery area yeah nobody nobody will want to do that true and yep so uh okay so we're gonna move forward to disassembling the my desktop PC which I do video editing, sound editing, music, gaming and all that stuff because I'm a hypocrite, I use Windows PC so bro, you say Windows PC what kind of spec do you have in your desktop? okay, my graphic card is GTX 1070 uh -huh. my processor is quite... Uh, I'm using a very old uh, uh, setup so my processor is 6700K i7 I'm using an iMac 2015 Wi-Fi card huh? and Bluetooth. Serious, bro? Yep. You so wow. it's uh, I call it the John Wick, John Wick desktop. So it delivered most of my work, uh, delivered whatever videos that I want to do inside. Of course, it's not the best setup. We, we have the best uh, rig, but we still choose this because we wanna push the limit. 64 gig RAM DDR4 more than enough we don't use fancy stuff true uh, we don't do lightings LEDs on all uh, on the desktop because what for are you gonna you know you set up all your LED and lighting and then hoping that one day your friends come are you like gonna tell your friends hey come to my room see my desktop setup who cares so it should be simple you know as long as it, get, it gets the job done, you play your games fine, that's it. Right? True, bro. Again, they, you guys need to know what kind of game you are playing, then yeah. build up your own PC specs. Mm. It doesn't, as what my buddy mentioned just now, doesn't mean you have to be a high end yeah. PC, right? It doesn't have to be a high end. We, yeah. we, we don't want to share you the most high end stuff because that will be like. probably in for the future videos uh, yep do we want to show you this is more or less the most budget friendly desktop 
deliver most of the work that I, I want. Uh, I play games. It's on 24 by 7. Mm -hmm. I have three drives. I have four. One NVMe SSD, 64 gig, i7 6700K, GTX 1070. Are you your? Sorry, I'm not sure his PC, right? Uh, are you using a water pool or? <laughs> or is it a normal? I don't get it. I don't. I, it's just a normal, uh, you know, heat sink and all that stuff. There's nothing fancy about this computer. It's very dusty. I know it's very dusty. It's been, I think, almost one year since I last maintained this desktop. I think it's about time. Okay. okay. So, so let's get get it on. Let's get it on. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Uh, okay, guys. We're back. So um, first thing first, I'm gonna open up the case. It's not the most fancy case. Ever. It's very messy. So first thing, we're gonna service the graphic card. So as you mentioned just now, your graphic card is the GTX 1070, right? Yep. So is it still worth to to yeah. use it it's still, still today? Yep still worth it okay so it's pretty dusty you can see the dust it's been a year since I last serviced this uh, PC so we're gonna do a very thorough uh, PC maintenance so but first we're gonna change the mode pace on this GTX 1070 Again, people will be wondering why you guys do this why it's the aiming chip it's the thrill you know it's fun Take your time when you're doing it guys, when you're doing your service PC, take your time. You, know, you need to have the proper tools to open up all the screws. Yeah, just make sure, it's very basic, uh, the tools you need, very basic. It's fine. See, it's quite dusty. It's completely dusty. So guys, when you are doing uh, maintenance on cleaning the, the graphic card, a lot of uh, dust. So I will recommend just to wear masks to protect you from yeah. germs and everything. Usually I will just vacuum because it's not good to breathe in the dust. Some of you might be asthmatic or uh, allergic to dust. Should be fine. This is the heat sink. So yeah, I prefer to actually vacuum this thing. But we're outside unfortunately, we can't do that. So I'm gonna brush this thing off. Okay, so this is the GPU. You can see, well, camera is can see or not? Can, can. Can, can see. Alright, so I'm gonna replace the thermal paste. Again, I'm using MX4 for the GPU chip. And I'll be using K5 Pro for the VRAM chip. can do this 
on your own guys you don't even need anyone you don't even need to send it to the shop unless you're rich you can always change anytime the most perfect but it should be fine so these are the VRAM chip I don't prefer to use uh, normal thermal pads for this I think it should be fine I just need to I will still use the K Vipo pads still one year is still fine. So I'm just gonna reapply it, with not all. So this is the part where a lot of people are in the most interested applying thermal paste. There you go. I don't give a Now, key 5 Pro. This to me are the most premium uh, pets you can actually use. So, you can hit on this desktop set up all you want ah, I don't really care because I don't plan to uh, you know show this to anyone in the any of my friends or whoever on your GPU is actually very very easy but if you're not used to it most probably it's not Are you okay with the light? Yep. <coughs> okay, we have attracted. 
get uh, some curious on Lucas, but it's fine. People will probably be very curious to see what we do. Do you remember uh, how much you purchased it during the those days? <coughs> you mean how much I spent? Yeah. Okay. To be honest, I I I can afford to get a better PC, but I prefer to get used secondhand stuff. So I got most of it uh, on the marketplace, which I won't mention where, because I'm not gonna promote the the uh, marketplace but of course you need to get the right deal I got I got it for I think I spent not more than thousand bucks so yep see hold on okay so I'm using a Gigabyte desktop, uh, Gigabyte motherboard. It's a GA Z170 DE D3H. The camera can see. Can. Just apply the thermal paste generously. Might trigger some, you know, experts because they're the only experts. Uh, yeah, they're the, they're the only experts on thermal paste application. So, another thing I want to share you know that there's two types of CPU fan power at the motherboard. So when you plug in the power, plug plug in the power of the radiator, you need to know which one you are plugging because sometimes it's just on the motherboard or it's giving power uh, not to the CPU but to different i uh, different thing. So you need to be extra careful when you are plugging the power for the radiator to the motherboard. Okay, uh, I forgot one thing. I need to take out the back casing. Because I need to. Yeah, because you need to put the back, uh, back case right for uh, the for the radiator thing. Yeah. Because I the most. Yeah. I hate this part. Really, really. I uh, see the. <laughs> I think I will. I'll vacuum this when I get back. Yeah. 
Ayo hukum bisi Ya, kamu pusing deh That's why I hate this kind of hissing to be honest But it's actually good You know, some people They waste their life Doing nothing We Do this It's not that difficult actually, but it's just that we are on uns uncharted territories. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Again, no one asks you to do this. So light, bro. Don't move away. Like here. I just wanna see CPU fan. Proper, proper word for call it is either CPU fan or the normal fan so which one you are blowing it for the radiator you need to connect it to the CPU fan sign yeah yeah that's what I was trying to say from just now <laughs> Sometimes it's annoying to to <laughs> to do this. because it's still I think last I changed was a year ago so it should still work fine so we will take a short break hmm? and we'll be back in a few seconds hold on uh, before we go short break yeah. I think it's almost done actually bro. Ah. so I think I'm gonna yeah I mean you wanna finish up yeah. yeah, sorry, sorry. So, we were, just a few seconds, we will finish up this thing. I'm gonna get it over and done with. Hey, Rick. 
Guys, that's that. Betty, you know what? Betty, camera? Mm -hmm. Okay, this should be fine. I think that's about it. So, so can you? Let's we're uh, gonna wrap up the servicing. I'm gonna close this because I think. Uh, Yeah, so one day we'll feature Hello, PC building that hopefully will be neat how to you know build your own PC that should be fine we try to make, make it as neat as possible okay so yep that's about it uh, don't attempt to do this outside you know, PC maintenance should be done indoors, not outdoor. We love the adventure. That's why we do this outside. Because we figure uh, no one do tech maintenance outside at all. You know, they prefer to be at, in the comfort of their own home. Stay tuned to our next video. It's going to be more awesome. Yep. Well, I'm panting because it's quite humid here yeah, very warm so thank you so much guys i hope you guys don't learn anything tonight because <laughs> this is the most stupidest thing to do so most of our videos are actually very crazy and very stupid those out there at home will, you know watching youtube will be like what the f i can do this at home but try doing it outside and then do your own videos set up everything try do it you know we challenge you uh, but there will be more This is not the last YouTube has no expiry It's gonna be all the way PC building You know, desktops Call us hypocrites if you want Because we feature a lot of Macs But we are window users So, okay We're gonna wrap this up Thank you so much Stay tuned Stay safe